Many flat earthers try to use what they call atmospheric lensing to explain why boats or buildings appear hidden at the bottom by the horizon. This was popularized in a few videos by Rob Skiba, in which he did a few experiments with a magnifying glass and an image of a distant city, which appear to explain how a city can appear hidden at the bottom on a flat earth. But, as always, there are flaws in his experiments and in his reasoning, as others have pointed out. I will explain why this supposed lensing effect, which I will call Skiba lensing, cannot explain the consistent phenomenon of boats, buildings, mountains, or other things being hidden at the bottom at the horizon. Light does bend in Earth's atmosphere, which is called refraction. And you could even say it acts like a lens, sort of. But it does not work the way Skiba claims it does. Let's talk about how light refraction actually works. Light refraction occurs when light goes through substances of different densities. When light passes from a less dense substance to a more dense substance, or vice versa, the light is refracted, that is to say, it bends. The direction of the bend is always toward the denser layer, as shown in this simulator created by the University of Colorado at Boulder. The bending occurs because light travels more slowly in a denser medium. So as it hits a density layer at an angle, the side of the beam on the denser side slows down first, causing the beam to bend toward the higher density. The greater the variation of density, the more the light is bent, as you can see here as I increase the density of the lower material in the simulator. A classic experiment you can do to see this is a pencil and a glass of water. At the interface of the air and the water, the pencil appears broken and shifted. This is because the light coming through the water and transitioning into the air is shifted by the density difference of the two media, while the light from the top of the pencil only travels through the air directly to your eye. The direction of this shifting is always the same. The light bends toward the denser material. More specifically, when going from less dense to more dense at an angle, the light bends toward the normal line, which is an imaginary line perpendicular to the boundary of the two substances. And when going from more dense to less dense, it bends away from the normal line. But the easier way to think about this is that it always bends toward the denser material. So since Earth's atmosphere is densest at the surface, due to the weight of the air above pushing down on the air below, light traveling through the atmosphere is normally going to bend slightly downward. And furthermore, when there is a temperature gradient, such as that caused by cold water cooling the air above it, this will increase the air density gradient, since cold air is more dense than warmer air, and therefore we see even more refraction over cold water. And unlike the water to air transition, which bends the light abruptly, the atmospheric density gradient is gradual, so the light bends slightly and gradually, which forms a curved shape. Now here comes the part that is counterintuitive. The light rays are bending down, but this makes things actually appear higher than they are, not lower. Think about it. The light is bending down toward the Earth. So when we look at that light, it looks like it's coming from a higher point than it is. So it appears higher above the horizon than it is. We see it from the direction it hits our eye or our camera, not from a direct line of sight when refraction is in effect. In fact, we actually typically see the sun rise a few seconds before the sun is actually above the horizon. This effect can be seen when the sun appears oblate, that is, it looks squished top to bottom at sunrise or sunset. The light from the sun is traveling through the atmosphere at a shallow angle and bending down as it travels through different density layers. And so, the light from the bottom of the sun is going through denser air than the light from the top of the sun. So the bottom light rays bend more than the top light rays, causing the oblateness effect. All the light appears to be shifted up to the observer, but the bottom appears shifted up more than the top is. 
Rob Skiba and other flat earthers are making several mistakes in their Skiba lensing claims. But the biggest mistake is the direction of the effect. It does not make things appear lower. It makes them appear higher. It is true that the atmosphere works like a lens, but not the kind of lens Skiba is using in his experiment, and not in the way he uses it. He uses a convex magnifying lens, which bends light away from the center, making objects appear bigger in all directions. As others have pointed out, if the atmosphere worked like that, you would see distortion in every direction, and the distortion would change as you changed your position in relation to the object. We don't see that. What we do see is refraction in a vertical direction, caused by the vertical density gradient of Earth's atmosphere. And this is why refraction can explain why distant cities can sometimes be seen farther than expected on a curved Earth. The refraction bends the light around the curve. When light travels at a shallow angle through a density gradient with the denser material at the bottom, it will always bend down, making objects appear higher. There is a very interesting video showing how this refraction can vary over the course of a few hours as the temperature changes. What this video shows is that the amount of refraction can vary with the density gradient, and the density gradient is affected by the temperature gradient. When looking at things through Earth's atmosphere near the surface, light is usually going to bend down, which makes them look higher, unless there is a layer of warm air at the surface with colder air above, often seen over a hot road or hot desert sand. This is called an inferior mirage, and it often appears as glassy water below the horizon, or it can also create a mirroring effect above the horizon. Inferior mirages tend to be less stable, giving them a wavering appearance, as hot air will rise and mix with the colder air descending. A superior mirage, or looming, tends to be more stable. Skiba wants us to believe that distant objects can appear hidden at the bottom because of the Skiba lensing effect. He thinks that the light from the bottom of the objects is essentially disappearing into the surface of the Earth. As I've shown, the light is bending the wrong way to do that. But, even if he was right, even if atmospheric refraction did make objects appear lower, there is still one big problem that ends that claim once and for all. Images like this one, with two different boats at different distances, both hidden at the bottom, but at the same horizon line. This cannot be due to refraction. This requires a curved surface. In order for this to be caused by Skiba lensing, there has to be some reason that the light from objects at different distances dives down into the surface at the same line. What in the world would cause that? And furthermore, what is happening to the light from the water behind the boat? When a boat is seen in front of the real horizon, we see the water behind it. So if the atmosphere is bending the image of the boat down, as he claims, it would also have to be bending the image of the water down behind it. So what we would see is something like this we would see boats appearing to sink into the water with the water visible behind it. Instead, we only see sky, or distant mountains, behind the horizon. This is also obvious when a distant boat is seen behind the horizon in front of a landmass. The boat and the landmass will always share the same horizon line. I took this footage myself, from the shore in Seal Beach from about six feet above the water, with Catalina in the background. At that height, the horizon is just three miles away, or about 4.8 kilometers away. You can see multiple objects at different distances, all sharing the same horizon. Here, we see two oil drilling platforms at different distances, both partially hidden at the bottom behind the horizon. Notice how you cannot see their legs. Here is a boat just at the horizon, but notice another oil rig in the distance behind it. Then we get to another oil rig, which is called Platform Esther, which is just 1.4 miles or 2.3 kilometers away, so this one is in front of the horizon, as expected. 
and here we get to a big ship, just a bit past the horizon, with Catalina Island in the distance. Catalina Island is 28.7 miles, or 46.2 kilometers away. Again, notice how the ship and Catalina disappear into the same horizon. Why can't we see the water in between? And then we see a distant sailboat missing its hull, and then another ship, all behind the same horizon line. This one panorama ends the Skiba lensing claim once and for all. They are trying to invent some magical lensing effect, which can bend all the light from different sources at different distances right at the same line. This simply cannot work. Light does not do that. There is no form of refraction that can cause that. The shared horizon line must be caused by the curvature of the Earth. In one of Skiba's flawed experiments, he actually created a fake horizon by using the edge of a table. But there is simply no reason there would ever be a horizon in front of anything on a flat Earth. The horizon would always be very distant, the vertical vanishing point where the ground meets the sky. Even if Skiba lensing is shifting things down, it would shift everything down, not just the boats or buildings, and not at the same arbitrary line in front of the objects. There is no reason Skiba lensing would create a horizon line at all, behind which the boats and oil rigs and buildings disappear, and especially objects at different distances disappearing at the same line, as I observed. No, that absolutely cannot be correct. The only explanation for objects hidden at the bottom at the horizon line is the curvature of the Earth. Skiba lensing does not work. It's just another desperate attempt to explain away evidence for the curved Earth. Thanks for watching. Please check out these other Flat Earth debunking videos. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.